Ari Shalom, Kahalayan La Yahweh Shemel Shabbat Hashem, Rakah Kodash, Devil Honest to the Apostles and the Editors of Great Millstone, who rule to teach well. Must peace, love, and salutations to the brothers from this work, and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Uh, this is the brother Batat back again through the Spirit, you know, and I've just been, you know, doing a little bit of reading um, and meditating upon uh, the lineage of David, you know, how Yahweh Shai was uh, uh, in the, within the direct lineage. That means he is a descendant of the king of king david you know he was in the lineage of king david you know yahweh shaha mashiach was he was in a specific family line a specific seed line you know um and i was just meditating upon it and you know i was ran across this word stock and this word stock just been you know um in my in my med me and I've been meditating upon that word stock and uh through the spirit I decided to you know do a lesson on it. Um uh Shalak so like it's a scripture in Romans that I'm trying to remember how it's worded. Oh, here it is. Romans one and um I'm going to start at 1. Romans 1 and 1. It says, Paul, a servant of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, called to be an apostle, which the word apostle means sent forth, uh, separated unto the gospel unto the gospel of the Most High, which is which he hath promised aforetime, which means, how did he promise aforetime? Through the prophets. The Lord told us what he was going to do before he did it. You know, by, by way of the prophets. You know, they prophesied about what was coming in the future. And Yahweh Shah was prophesied in the scripture many times. So, the Lord promised us these things. It says, um, aforetime by his prophets in the Holy Scripture. So that, right, that shows it, you know, through the Spirit. You know, I didn't even read the whole Scripture. And boom, it said it, you know, right there by itself. Verse 3, it says, concerning concerning his son, Yahweh Shaha Mashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. So that means, now let's look up that word seed. It's another word that I should have looked up. You know, but, you know, the rest of this lesson has basically been prematurely... Uh, written but this part right here is something that you know I'm just going through the spirit I didn't think to look up the word seed which that word seed comes from the word sperma so the Greek word there is a sperma it says um let's go got to pick out the got to pick out the um, meat from the bones okay it says the sum the semen viral it says the product of this semen seed children offspring pro progeny and that's not the first time i don't seen that word progeny i actually looked it up um let's go get that word progeny the word progeny means children offspring so he was of the uh, he was an offspring of david uh it's just of humans of uh, descend descent lineage family ancestry descendants offspring lineage race family so that's what the word uh, pro progeny means it says in the immediate descendant of a person so Yahweh Shah is the immediate descendant of Joseph I'm just like yeah the immediate descendant of uh, I'm sorry I meant to say David it says okay let's keep says it says family tribe posterity now that word posterity means the same thing as uh, the word um, progeny means uh, posterity I just looked up that word the other day. It says a person's offsprings, descendants, collectively. Future to new to town. So your offspring, whoever comes out of your, you know, your loins. Because Yahweh was born of the seed of man. He came out of, of man's, you know, to be it, put it very frank. He came out of out another man's balls, man. You know, that's just to put it, put it straight, man. You know, he came out of another man's balls. Or nuts, you know, genes, sperm. He came out. He came from the sperm, man. We all came from the waters. <laughs> Cause if I'm not mistaken, sperm. Oh, let me see. From the waters. Uh, let's go to Google. I'm uh, real quick. Does sperm contain water? I believe it does. 
I'm uh, sorry, I can't spell. <laughs> the sperm. Clean water. Just something I wanted to look. Semen is a complex substance created by the mirror. The fluid is made mostly of water, plasma, and mucus. And yeah, so according to Google, sperm is made of, of, of water. So like, we all come from the waters, man. We all came from the sperm, which is of the seed of man. The scripture says in the book of um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, you know, it, it explains in very grave detail that all men have one way into the world, which is through the seed of man, through the sperm. That's why in the history, you know, during, going back to the old Egypt, you know, they they kept they kept telling, you know, the the pharaoh that was had took over. He kept telling the midwives to kill the male sons and and preserve the women. Why did he say that? Because they wanted to stop all of these Israelites from being born. And how did you do that? Through the men. Because the men is the one that carries the seed. Without men, the, the family line wouldn't be able to continue to be, be existent. Because the man is the one that carries the seed. So if there's no men, then ultimately, how are, child, how are children going to be born? You know? Because if this world was full of women, which feminists can argue about this, if this world was full of women, all of these women would fucking die, honestly. They would die because there's no balance. The Lord created men and women. The purpose of a man is to bring forth the seed. If there's no men in the world full of women, then that, that people just, these women are going to die and there's going to be no way to reproduce. Okay, um... So, like, let me stop babbling so much. But this, all of this is plain, you know, plain knowledge. Everybody should know this. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 1. It says, I myself, which, you know, King Solomon, through the Spirit, we believe that King Solomon, through faith, was Yahweh and it makes sense. Because King Solomon explained a lot of things that only Yahweh would know, you know. He explained a lot of things that Yahweh would only know, you know. Uh, King so I mean, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 1, it says, I myself also am a mortal man, like to all, and the, all, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. So, all men are of an offspring. We we come from, we come from uh, Adam, which I wish I was Adam, and the first Adam and the last Adam. So, yeah, I wish I was that Adam, man. You know? But we are all the same. We all come out of the waters, man. Verse 2 says, and, and in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of ten months, being compacted in blood and of the seed of man and the pleasure that cometh with sleep. So the wisdom of King Solomon, which is how shine the spirit, is explaining to us that all men have one way unto the earth, that he went through the same thing we went through. You know, being coming out of, the, out of the, our father's genitals, and, you know, through the act of sex, you know, got to add that in there. You know, the man, his his father ejaculated into his mother's vagina, and that seed found an egg. That egg grew into a baby, and the stomach got bigger. You know, ten months later, boom, a baby comes out, man. Verse three, and then I was born. I drew in the coming air and fell upon the earth, which is uh, of like nature. The white everybody does that. And the first voice, well, I heard, uh, I uttered was crying as all others do so every when a baby comes into the world what does it do you know it starts crying verse 4 says i was nursed in saddling clothes and with cares for there is no king that has any other beginning of birth now yahweh is what the king of kings and the lord of lords he's the king of the jews is that not true isn't he not written the king of jews if Yahweh is the king, then Yahweh had the same interest to life that we all had. Okay, it says, verse 5 again, For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. For all men have one interest into life and the like going out. So we have one way of being born and one way to leave, man. You know, it's not complicated. Okay. 
now that I got all that out of the way, let's go back to the true definition that I want to get, you know, through the spirit. You know, I didn't make this less. I, I didn't intend for this lesson to be about, you know, the bunk in the so-called virtual birth. But, hey, that's the spirit. Okay, the word stock. I'm going to ignore all of this because it's talking about something else. Okay, the stock word stock. It says meaning ancestry family is a figurative use of the word. Mm. Of basically your family tree. Let's go down to a much. Uh... Okay, the word stock. It says the descendants of one individual. Individual. So we are all of the stock of Abraham, like the scripture says. Let me get that real quick. Stock of Abraham. Um, Acts chapter 13 verse 26 it says men and brethren children of the stock which means that what family line the family descendants of Abraham and whoso among you feared the most high to you is the word of this salvation sent Okay, the word stock, it says the descendants of one the individual, and we are the descendants of Abraham. <laughs> How? Abraham gave birth to Isaac. Isaac gave birth to Jacob and Esau. And Jacob gave birth to 12 sons, which are the 12 patriarchs of the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, pedigree. Ooh, I like that word pedigree, which is the same, the same synonyms. For the word stock is lineage, a line of descent, ancestor, an ancestor. We all have the same common ancestors. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, literally string, line, thread. Okay, we get that. Lineage. Who your line, who your blood, who's your bloodline, you know? Okay, the, your, who's your pedigree? It says genealogical table or chart. Um, descent. Um, let me see. Uh, trying to get it very simple pedigree the descendants of one individual a line of descent of a purebred animal ancestry of a purebred animal having a list of ancestors as proof of being a pedig a pure breed animal and we are pure breeds man you know we are pure breed israelites uh okay um the word stock we got that word descendants of one individual a So this word is sent to the stock of who? Abraham. So that that right that lets you know that Israelites are the only ones that the Lord is dealing with. Acts 13 and 26. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you feared the most high. To you is the word of, of this salvation sent. So that's very clear. Okay, now I have in this, you know, the Zondervan Bible Dictionary, the word stocks. I'm going to go to the, the, the number two. It says, a family. Yeah, that's all it says. <laughs> I thought it said more than that, but it just says a family. Yeah. So, that was very simple, man. It was very simple. And they put the precepts. It actually has the precept Acts 13 and 26 in here. It says Philippians 3 and 5. What does Philippians 3 and 5 say? Uh, let's see what it says. Uh, Philippians 3 and 5 say. So it's very simple, man. Uh, Philippians, Philippians, Philippians. Oh, 3 and 5. Oh, yeah. This is... Uh, Philippians chapter 3 verse 4 says, Though I might have ye have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more circumcised the eighth day, because why? That was a custom of who Israel 
we circumcise our kids the eighth day. It says, of the stock of Israel. So Paul is letting you know his lineage. He's a he's a uh, he's a Hebrew he's a he's of the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin and Hebrew of the Hebrews as touching the law a Pharisee so he's letting you know where he's where he's uh his stock is you know where where his pedigree is man where his lineage is you know so that's just a quick example of that um because we all have we all have a lineage we all have a pedigree we all have a, a stock we come from one of the twelve patriarchs of of Jacob. So um you know through the spirit I didn't want to make this lesson too long, man. I just wanted to get quick and to the point. You know, I originally wanted to look up the definition for the word stocks, but it led me to other things, and that's all through the spirit, man. Beautiful. Hey Lord willing this lesson is edifying to you, brothers, man. I'm gonna close out by giving all praises and in glory. For the heavenly following is only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Most peace, love, and salutation to the brothers from this work and truth to sincerity. Shalom, Kom Yasha Allah, Wa Baba Ba, Wa Ba Da Wam, Shalom, Shalom. The Lord willing, brothers, is edified with this quick lesson through the Spirit. We are of the stock of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I want to make sure I got everything real quick, looking over. I got the definition for the word stock, pedig uh, pedigree, and all of those words, okay? Yeah, I believe that was it through the spirit, man. Lord willing, it's edifying. I'm going to close out by saying shalom.